Hello everybody. So, just getting home. Bear with me. I look like a dust bunny. But I wanted to do a video for all y'all today about universal college education and kind of how, how does one pay for universal college education? So like, for example, how would we even be able to financially afford that type of education. So this video is gonna be mostly me rattling off a lot of facts and stats, not a lot of editing because I'm pretty booked with schoolwork today. So I'm like, screw it. This is more of an informative video. So this is something that you might wanna pull because I have my sources in the description box below, pull facts, write some notes, whatever. So let's talk about the taxes, US taxes, particularly with the tax breaks and the military budget. So this is where it's gonna get a little confusing. Two years ago, President Trump approved of a $1.5 trillion tax cut for corporations. Now, you might have heard that before. However, what you probably didn't actually hear about is that it wasn't $1.5 trillion. What it actually was, was it was a, a $6 trillion, $6, six trillion dollar tax break for corporations and a $4.5 trillion tax break increase for um, for the, the middle class. So the middle class is getting taxed, they're receiving a tax break, and so when this is conveyed, or the information was conveyed, it was considered to be $1.5 trillion tax cut. Well, actually, it wasn't. It was, it was a $6 trillion tax cut supplemented with a $4.5 trillion tax increase. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. If that didn't make sense, uh, let me know in the comment section, I'll rephrase kind of what I'm saying right now. So that's something new. Now we have to ask how much would college education cost, a universal college education? Now we're focusing specifically on college education. However, I would like to extend that into the trade school programs myself. However, I don't know so much about the, the numbers and the nuances with that. So according to the Department of Education statistics, it would cost approximately $75 billion a year in order to cover universal college education. However, Bernie Sanders' plan said it would be $600 billion over 10 years, which would equal about $60 billion a year. So Bernie says $60 billion, Department of Education says $75 billion. Okay, well how far or how, how well did we reap the rewards or how many rewards, God, what am I saying? How many rewards did we get or how much better off are we as a result of that tax break? Well, interestingly enough, I have a little statistic on that with my phone. Bear with me. I try not to look at my phone as much as I actually do. But according to the, the National Association of Business Economics Quarterly Business Conditions Poll, so again, sources in the description box below, 84% of the businesses that received this tax break had no major impact on businesses' capital, investment, or hiring plans. So that's a fancy way of saying that wages didn't increase and there weren't more jobs created as a result of uh, the tax break that was created. So we got nothing out of it. Turns out it was actually proven that trickle-down effect does not work. Okay, so could that have paid for universal college education? Oh God, yeah, I mean, for a long time, right? A long time. <laughs> and the conservatives like to say that they are the, the people of the tax breaks. No, they're not, they're not. Only for the upper 1% class. They are, believe in democratic socialism for the top 1%. So now let's talk about the military budget. Now between 2016 under Obama all the way to now, the military budget increased by approximately $106 billion roughly 106 under Bernie Sanders plan that would give us almost two years of college education by itself at a university just that alone now we haven't even talked about the military budget you might be you guys hear that is that catching on camera right now the dude above me does like the weirdest things I don't even know maybe he's subscribed to the YouTube channel if he is can you please stop doing weird stuff upstairs anyway a lot of times people are gonna say, well, the military budget is important to keep up on and increase. The reason for that is because uh, it keeps our soldiers more safe. Okay, well, what if I were to tell you that approximately, and this was according to a study in 2016, half of the military budget goes to private contracting companies. Yeah, you heard that right. 
half of the military budget goes to private contracting companies. It almost seems like if we didn't have as much as many wars and we didn't occupy as many territories, specifically 800 bases in 80 countries, maybe we don't need to give that much money to contracting companies. Hmm. Okay. Well, why did that, why, how, how did that even happen? Well, there's a long, long story with that. You know, you have to talk about money and politics. One reason is because in almost every state there's contracting jobs, which we could potentially just get rid of those contracting jobs, retrain them to get something more into the green technology realm under the Green New Deal, but I digress. One thing that isn't also talked about is the fact that the military budget is so big, yet we have a bigger military than the next 12 countries combined, most of which are our allies. If we halved the military, military, military budget, if we cut the military budget in half, we would still have a bigger military or spend more money than Russia, Iran, North Korea, and I believe China off of the top of my head, which essentially is everybody who isn't considered our ally on the, the, the top 12 most money spent on the military list. And so when we're going full circle back into how would we pay for college education, these are two alternative routes. Maybe we shouldn't give as much money towards you know, tax cuts for the wealthy and instead reallocate that towards college and maybe keeping our troops safe means not putting them into so many wars and rather instead reinvesting that into the people itself. I don't know, that's a food for thought. If somebody has a specific argument against this, for example, well, we can't do universal college education because it costs too much. You might want to ask them if they know about the military budget and do they know about the tax cuts that have happened recently. Now, also a little, little caveat, I guess I should say that I should have said earlier was that a lot of times, and this happened with Bill Clinton, I don't know about Bush, but Obama and with Trump, they would increase the military budget in the first year or two, and then they would decrease it right before elections. And they would do that with the soldiers' deployment cycles. They would increase deployments and then decrease, increase, decrease. So then by the time elections actually happen, they can say, well, no, we're reducing the military budget. Also, we are, uh, we are drawing down from countries like Afghanistan. So look, you should vote for us because that's what you guys want and that's what we're doing. Well, no, you're actually increasing, decreasing, increasing, and decreasing. I have the specific numbers with me and I'll post this in the description box below as well before my phone dies. 2016. $600 billion bill. 2017, $582.7 billion. 2018, jumps all the way to $700 billion, then $716, then $738. 2021, it goes down to $706. So it goes like up, down, up, 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 down. So anyway, I don't want to hear any more crap about how are we going to be able to pay for people's college. If we have enough money to pay for wars, we have enough money to risk our troops' as lives, and we have, have enough money to be able to make people like Jeff Bezos almost a trillionaire, I'm pretty sure we could be able to improve our people's lives instead of giving it to those people. That should be a bipartisan thing. Even if you don't like college, we should, we should all agree that this is something that would be possible for us to actually pass. We should agree on that and then have the conversation from that point onwards. Anyway, I got to get back to my studies and I feel like, I feel like a, a grease trap. I hope, hopefully it doesn't, the, the light isn't casting on my skin. Not to be confused with a thirst trap. I'm talking specifically about a grease trap. Anyway, thank you.